Hi everybody, Emily here. Today I would like to take a look at our accounts.autodesk.com um, account area so that uh, we can give everybody a bit of an insight on uh, where you can see your current software, any support cases that you have open, um, and assign users uh, to that software. So that's the main goal of today is, is assigning users. And so the first thing I want to do is um, sign in to our account. So we're going to go to accounts.autodesk.com and we're going to log in with our Autodesk ID which should be based on your um, corporate email. If you've forgotten your password there is a forgot password um, option so you can reset that. Okay so once you're logged in here <clears throat> We've got um, a toolbar on the left and some information along the top. Okay, so we've got um, your products and services, user management, billings and orders, and your, your reporting information that, along the left. And then along the top, we have recent product updates, open support cases, and uh, your ability to buy products if you're not going through a reseller. Down below we have some, some news and some tips and tricks and insights that you can click on. And then in the bottom right there's a help menu. So if you need any help with some topics you can click on that to have some um, you know, common information. Now back on the left I'm going to click on by user under user management. And this is the new user system. If anybody's familiar with the old one They've made a lot of changes in the past several years uh, but this is, is the new list of users that have already been assigned um, in your uh, organization. If this list is empty for you it's time to invite some users. Okay so you can see in that list uh, people are assigned a user role, primary admin, secondary admin. These are all um, different options for levels of permissions. So if I click on myself and I take a look at my own user role here, um, I'm a secondary admin for our organization so I can see and assign products and users. And you can see my product access here. I've got two uh, products assigned and three that I, I don't use um, but I could be assigned to. Uh, and you can see that each of those unassigned products has 18 seats available. In the top right there's a little garbage can. If I leave the company you can um, remove a user. Back on the main user page we have the option to invite users. So when you invite a user um, you're basically you can invite a single user or you can import multiple users at once. So if you've got a lot of people to add uh, go ahead and, and add them that way through a CSV file Excel basically. And for adding a new user we're just going to type in their first and last name and their company email address. Um, and then we will hit send invite and this will send an invite to that user which I will show you shortly. And in, basically on your end immediately after you add that user and before they even have to go and get their invite you can start uh, inviting or adding that user to software. So I can click on that username and you can see their user information up at the top here and then um, and down at the bottom you can see what they have been assigned to. So currently they're just a regular user. We don't need them to be in this case uh, an SSO admin or a secondary admin. So they can access products but they cannot um, they don't have any admin privileges. You can resend that invite if they claim they didn't get it. That happens. It goes to junk or it gets blocked by the organization, uh, unfamiliar email address and so on. Okay so down at the bottom here we've got the number of products that are available to be assigned to someone. So you can pick from that list and you can see how many seats of that product are available and you can assign the user quite easily just by hitting that big assign button. And then obviously you can unassign them using the big unassign button. Okay so if you've assigned them the wrong thing you can always uh, if, you're, if you need to reorganize what you've assigned different users uh, you know as, as their work changes uh, you can reassign anybody to anything. 
So here's the user side of things. Um, they're going to get an email from Autodesk. It says action required. So hopefully they will see that and, and act on it. Um, I know a lot of people ignore uh, these emails that they're not expecting. So here, as long as they just sort of skim the email and uh, hit the create your account button, uh, they will be taken to uh, be able to, you know, verify their you know, first name, last name, confirm their email, and set up a password. You don't have to check the box you know, if you don't want any uh, emails from Autodesk, that's okay. And this will take them to their version of the same Autodesk accounts area. So they'll have access to their products and services. But if they're not an admin, they won't have access to um, user information. Uh, you may see billings and, and orders here, but those are for anything that they purchased under their own account, um, which they probably won't do. So then you've got under products and services, uh, any software that has been assigned to you is going to be available by user, um, by the user in this list. So they can search for the software they're looking for. They can find the year, the Windows version, uh, and the language that they're looking for, and they can download uh, or install it directly from here. Now, if you've got IT professionals doing this, that's great. Uh, they can download it uh, from their own admin account as well. Okay, so back in uh, the main user management, we can also uh, assign products by product to the users. So I can go in to see my whole list of products and all of the seats available. I can also expand those collections and, you know, see um, a little more in depth and see the assigned users to those products. And I can hit assign users, type in, you know, my new username. Or I can, you can see the import to assign. I can import a list of people to be assigned to this software. And now there I am. Nuvon user has the media and entertainment collection. If you click on that user um, in this collection, you can see that it comes with, you know, seven main uh, softwares. Those are always assigned when you assign that collection. And then there are some cloud and additional information or services that are assigned with it that can be essentially unassigned if you thought that necessary. Okay, so there's a, there's a big list of, of products that come with most of the collections these days. It's quite nice. But you can also see what you, know, you and, and your users have access to in this way. All right, so that's pretty much it for today. I, I hope that was useful for everybody. And don't forget, you can always go to the Autodesk Knowledge Network and find out useful information. There are a lot of uh, support articles there as well as the community forums. So don't, uh, don't forget about this fantastic resource. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for listening.